Okay, I'm connected to my router, and I'm going to configure DHCP on my Cisco router. Yep. And if I do a show version, I can see that I'm running a Cisco 2600 router with version 12.2. So I have the features that I'm looking for, and this shows me it's a 2611XM Cisco router. All right, I'm going to do a show IP interface brief, and I can see my fast Ethernet, which is my LAN connection. It has an IP address of 10. Dot, or 192.168.10.25, and status is up, protocols up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to change the configuration of my fast Ethernet based on the lab. Um, I'm going to assume I'm lab A router. That's what I'm going to focus on. I don't necessarily need to configure my WAN interfaces for this lab. I'm going to focus just on my Ethernet. I physically have my computer's second network card connected to the switch that this router's fast Ethernet is connected to. Okay, so I need to configure the 192.168.16 network for my fast Ethernet now. So I'm going to go config T. And I'm going to go interface FA0 slash 0 and type no IP address. Get rid of the address and then I'm going to add 192.168. Whoops. IP address. 192.168.16.1.255.255.0. No shot, which should already be up because this is the status is already up here, so we should be okay. Exit, exit, and do a show IP. And brief. So it shows that I have the 192 and 68, 16 dot one IP address. Next I need to actually start configuring my DHCP pool. And a DHCP pool is a pool of IP addresses that my router can hand out. So I'm going to go back into config T and I'm going to type IP DHCP, hit the tab key, pool, and then identify the name. Halverson pool. There, I just gave it a name. Okay, so now if you look at the configuration, I'm in DHCP configuration mode. The prompt changed. Here's where I'm going to set the different options. So first thing I need to do is identify the network that my DHCP server will be handing out IP addresses to. And that command is network 192.168.16.0. So now it knows that that network is assigned to what interface? the fast Ethernet. So that's where it will be answering DHCP requests for the 192.168.16.0. Now since my router already assumes that 192.168.16.1 is used, the assumption is it'll hand out the next available IP address <coughs> sequentially all the way up to the end where there's no more left. So it'll start handing out addresses for 192.168.16.1. 2, 192.168.16.3, .2, and so forth, all the way up to 254. So I need to identify an exclusion range. So we do IP DHCP. Oops. I need to type exit on this one. This is where the lab's a little messed up. IP DHCP exclude address 192.168.16. Dot two through 192.168.16.100. So now the first address that will be handed out is dot 101. I the reason for excluding these addresses typically I exclude these are a specific range at the beginning of my subnet for uh, things like printers and other servers and devices that have static addresses. So in my dynamic range is typically at the end of my subnet. Now we go back into IP DHCP pool and then I identify domain name 
from hardwareclass.prv. So this is my private domain name that's going to be appended to any hosts that request to get an IP address. Okay, so that we'll see that in the DNS um, suffix. And then the DNS server Oh, okay, so here I have in my lab DNS server, but it really should be just DNS space and then the IP address for my server, 182.168.16.10. And we have two of them, 182.168.16.11. So I identify both of them with the space. Now, do I actually have a DNS server running on my network? No, on this little pretend network I don't. But I just identify two pseudo DNS servers that can play the role so when I get an IP address on my workstation, I can see that all this information is being handed over to my workstation. And then default router is going to be 192.168.16.1. What is default router? What's another term for that, another name? Gateway. Default gateway. This is the gateway. This is essentially, this is the router saying, hey, come to me. I'm the I'm the, your default gateway for the 192.168.16 network. And then lease for the question mark. This identifies days, minutes, hour days, hours, minutes, and so forth. So we can identify how many days we're going to do three days if you do a question mark. Then we can identify well three days and 12 hours space question mark and 30 seconds. <laughs> Okay, but honestly, you could just stop it at the three days. So at least three, if you wanted to. So now it would be exactly three-day lease that my clients that are requesting IPs will be able to keep this address. Type exit, exit. Now let's take a look at my results. Show run. <coughs> and as we go through my running configuration, here is IP DHCP exclusion range. And notice that that is from global configuration. That is the only one that we type in global configuration beyond the IP DHCP pool, the name of my pool, and then all the options for that pool. And there's my Ethernet with 192.168.16.1. So now I need to open up a command prompt and renew my IP addresses. So here's my command prompt and I'm going to type IP config slash all and I got a lot of interfaces here, VMware, this is my Intel <coughs> network card. So this is my private local area network for the lab. And this is my Realtek. The Realtek is what is actually connected to my uh, switch that the router is connected to where I configure DHCP. So I need to open up Network and Sharing Center, take a look at my interfaces, because I have a static IP address set. So there's my Realtek. I'll change it from static to dynamic. And if I right click on this and use the GUI, I can just hit status and it should show me still thinking. Show me an IP address. So now if I go to details, and I should see the 192.168.16.101, the very first address that hands out. Notice my DNS servers are the two different DNS servers that I identified. Okay, I can also do this from the command line. 
my um, command line, there it is. So I can type IP config slash release and then identify LAN2. So my LAN2 connection has no IP address. So now repeat that command and I use renew. And I should renew the same IP address, that 101 address. And I should see two requests on my router now when I go take a look at my router. So there it is. Scroll up. So there's my DNS suffix, com hardware class, the PRV, the IP address. Mass gateway, how come I don't see DNS? My DNS server is not listed here because I didn't type IP config slash all to show all the information. Okay, so I go here to my router and type the show DHCP server command, and here I can see. Oh. Nothing. Show DHCP lease. Back man. Interface FA0 slash 0. Oh, that's lease information that we have there. So the actual command is show IP DHCP server. Uh, then I need to identify a little more information, stats. So here it shows show IP DHCP server statistics, memory usage, message. Here's the request, discover request. So it shows it got, it saw two DHCP discovers because the first time when I plugged it in, it, it heard a discover from the workstation. And then the next time, when I released it and then I hit renew again, that was the second time it, it heard a discover. And then I got two requests because it sent out two requests. Does that make sense? So show IP DHCP server statistics will show you the, your server statistics for a DHCP service that's running. So give those a try. Configure your router with DHCP. Mine's flagging.